The two biggest opportunities in human resources are number one, bringing more data and science to it. Because for too many years, HR has been characterized by what's my gut tell me, what's my experience tell me. But there's a lot that we can learn from behavioral science and behavioral economics to make work better. The second is remembering to put a little love into the practice. Because we often get focused on process and operations rather than remembering that there's actually human beings on both sides of these conversations and caring for those individuals. One of the things I observed in my old job running people at Google was that training doesn't always work, talking to people doesn't always work. There's a lot of things that make it hard to get human beings to change their behavior in a way that both makes them happier and serves the organization better. Dick Thaler, professor at University of Chicago, coined the phrase nudges for small interventions that help people make better choices. At our own company now, Humu, what we focus on is using these tiny, tiny interventions, the smallest we can possibly make, to make people happier and more productive and more innovative and more inclusive. What we find is the smallest intervention often has the biggest result if you know what intervention to send to what person at exactly the right time. I was born in communist Romania. I came to the US as a refugee. But in Romania, the government supervised everything. And to the extent where children were asked to spy on their parents, students in school were asked to spy on their classmates and their teachers. So I come from a place where the government saw and knew everything and every company recorded every single thing about everything, about their employees. That's super creepy and it's wrong. So one of the premises behind Humu is that not only do we value an individual's privacy before everything else, but that we ought not ever even violate an expectation of privacy. So companies, for example, can legally read their employees' emails. And if you look at those emails and look for more emotional language, that predicts whether someone will stay or leave. I think that's wrong to do. Because as an employee, I don't expect my boss to be reading my emails or some machine to be doing it. In a sense, we kind of ascribe to the Hippocratic Oath, but for technology. First, do no harm. And you have to remember that we take care of people first, and that's why our mission is making the world better with machine learning, people science, and a little bit of love. We have to remember that and hold ourselves to a higher standard, and I wish every tech company would. We gather information voluntarily from people at work, and if they don't want to participate, they don't have to, and we're fully GDPR, GDPR compliant, so you can get your own data back. It's your data. You own it. Um, but what we focus on is what's going to make you more effective in the workplace and in particular what are the soft skills that are going to make you a better team member, make you more inclusive, make you a better manager or coach or participant. And all those things have to do with how you're feeling about yourself, how the people around you are treating you and how you perceive really whether your employee cares about you as a human being or just another gear in the machine.